Hey y'all, I'm Chef Banline, and welcome back to another show of Cooking with Kurt. I don't know about y'all, but I can't imagine finishing up a meal without something sweet. So, today, I thought I'd show y'all how to make a nice homemade pecan pie. How y'all like the sound of that? Alright, we're gonna start by making the dough. First, I'm gonna get us out a food processor. Fitted with a metal blade. Add in one and one fourth cups all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of sugar and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Are you picking up what I'm putting down, y'all? Pulse this a couple of times to mix it together. Now I'm gonna add some love, and love comes in the form of butter. I'm putting in one cold stick of butter sliced up, and work that butter into the dry ingredients by pulsing about 10 to 15 times. Add in one beaten egg, Pulse it a couple more times till the dough starts coming together. Sprinkle some flour on a clean surface, dump the dough on it, and knead it into the shape of a disc. Wrap it up in plastic and refrigerate for at least one hour. Lightly flour the surface again, and roll the dough into a 12 inch circle about 1 8 inches thick. Then using your rolling pin, transfer your dough to a 9 inch pan. Tuck the overhanging dough underneath itself to form a thick edge that's even with the rim. Flute the edges to make it nice and pretty. And put this pie shell in the freezer for 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put a piece of foil over the pie shell and bake on a baking sheet on the center rack for about 15 minutes. Oh look at that, it's nice and beautiful and golden brown. Now we're ready to make our pecan pie filling y'all. I'm gonna get us out a saucepan. Add in five tablespoons of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Alright, now I've got my measuring cup, and I'm going to measure out the syrup that I just do love, maple syrup. And this syrup is going to make almost like a custard. So when you cut into that pie, it's going to have like a dark custard-like texture. We're going to spray the cup with nonstick oil first so the maple syrup doesn't stick to it. We want three-fourths cup maple syrup. Just pour it on in. See how that syrup just slid off the measuring cup? Bring this mixture to boil over medium heat, stirring constantly. Once it starts to boil, continue cooking for about one minute, then turn off the heat. Now I'm gonna add my pecans, about two cups of toasted pecans. I'm using unsalted half pecans here today. And two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Ooh, that vanilla smells good in there. And lots of times in the South, we love adding bourbon to our pecan pies, and not because we're alcoholics. It's just an ingredient that us folks in the South kind of have a taste for. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of bourbon. And we don't want to lose a drop of it. And everything in the world tastes so much better with a little bourbon. In fact, I don't know anything that bourbon can't help. That looks good, doesn't it? These are a bunch of drunk pecans, y'all. They're having a good time soaking up that bourbon. <laughs> Alright. We're going to take three eggs and we're going to beat these eggs, okay? And we're just going to pour it on in. And we're going to mix it into the filling until it's smooth. Now all we're going to do at this point is put the pie shell on the sheet pan and put our pie filling over on into the pie shell. Yes, I know, it's so beautiful. This is how they make them in the restaurants. So now I'm going to bake this, y'all. I'm going to bake it in a preheated oven. It's been heated to a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to leave it in there for about 40 to 45 minutes. So let's put the sucker in the oven. It's done now. Done that look delicious? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't swallow your tongue now. I always like to eat my pecan pie with a little vanilla ice cream on the side. 
There you go. See, I don't need to go to a diner or a restaurant. I got it all right here in my kitchen, y'all. Get a little bit of ice cream on there. God, that's good. I know y'all want to eat my pie. Well, I hope y'all gonna try this amazing recipe for pecan pie. And I promise you, you cannot mess up this pecan pie. This recipe for pecan pie, I promise you cannot mess it up. It's just so easy. Thank y'all for watching Cooking with Kirk. Don't forget to join me next time. Bye, y'all.